This is Lumstock, and in this video we are looking at arithmetic sequences. So a sequence is arithmetic when the next term is given by adding a constant, and this is the opposite to geometric sequences, which we'll look at next video. But all arithmetic sequences have a common difference, and this common difference is just titled D. And D is equal to UN plus 1 minus UN, and in simple terms, that's a term after minus the term before. So, for example, the second term minus the first term, or the fifth term minus the fourth term. That gives what D is equal to. So, the terms of an arithmetic sequence are therefore A, which is just the starting number, then A plus D, so it's the starting number plus a the difference, then A plus 2D, so the starting number plus 2 difference, and so on. And that means that if we're trying to find anything, un, so any number, is equal to a plus n minus 1 times by d. So for example, if we're trying to find the 56th term, we would do a plus 55d, because 56 minus 1d. So here we have a question, and this question says that the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are k plus 3, 2k plus 4, and 4k minus 2 and we have to find the value of k. So in order to do this, we're going to have to be looking at this idea of un plus 1 minus un to find what d is. And that means that, first of all, we will try and find what the difference is between 2k plus 4, which we have here, 2k plus 4, and that's, we'll just put it in brackets, and then that is minus k plus 3. So therefore, if we do that, we're going to get 2k minus k is equal to k, and 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So k plus 1. But we've also got the difference between 4k minus 2 and 2k plus 4. So therefore, we will also say that 4k minus 2, and then minus 2k plus 4. So this time we've got 4k minus 2k, so that's going to be 2k, and then minus 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 6. But we know that the difference in an arithmetic sequence always has to be the same, so therefore we can say that these equal each other. So that means that k plus 1 is equal to 2k minus 6. A bit of rearranging then, so we do minus the k here, so we have k on this side, and then we've also got plus 6 on both sides, which means that k is going to be equal to 7. And that is our final answer for that particular question. So the next thing we need to look at is an arithmetic series. An arithmetic series is the sum of the terms in an arithmetic sequence. So there are two different equations, and this depends on whether you have the limit. So the first one, when you're given the limit, is s and the n is the number of terms in the sequence, and that is equal to half n, and then that is times by a plus l. The other one is when you don't have the limit in the sequence and instead you just have the common difference. And this is half n, and then that is times by 2a, when a, remember, is the first term in the sequence, plus n minus 1 times by d. So we have two questions here. One of them uses one of the a, and then the other one uses the other one. So the first one says 10 plus 6 plus 2 plus the number of terms in the middle, and the last term is minus 34. And because we have the limit of the sequence here, that means that we can use the first equation. So in order to do this, we are going to say that S12, because there are 12 terms in it, and that is given by this here, and then S12 is equal to half times by 12, And then that's times by a plus l. a is equal to 10. l is equal to minus 34. If we simplify that, we can say that 6, because half times 5 is 6, and then times by minus 24, because 10 minus 34 is minus 24, 
And then use a calculator just times that and you get minus 144. So next one is slightly harder. You use this a slightly more difficult um, the, the formula, but it is still just following the instructions of the formula. So this time we don't have L. If we want to, we could work out what L was, but it's much easier just to work out what D is and then put it into this formula here. So it, first of all, we need to work out what D is. And that is D is equal to root 27 minus root 3 and that's what we are using in the first half of this video and that is equal to 2 root 3 so that is our common difference and this means that now we have everything we need to put into this so therefore s10 this time is equal to half times by 10 then a is going to be root 3 that's the first term so that means that 2 times a is 2 root 3 and then plus I'll put this one in brackets we have 10 minus 1 n minus 1 is 9 and then times by d and that's what we just worked out 2 root 3 And then put this in, make it simpl uh, make it simplified, we can make a 5. And then this goes to 20 root 3. Then all we need to do is times the 20 by 5, that's how we do it, to make 100 root 3. And it's good to leave it in exact form as that is completely right. You could put it in a decimal, you would probably still get the marks, but if it, normally it may ask for it in exact form, and that is it in exact form there. So here we have our final question, and this is one with more contextual information. And it says that Bertie makes payment into a saving account every month, and he pays in £300 in the first month, and the amount he pays increases by £40 each subsequent month. And then Char Charlotte also pays, uh, makes payment into a saving account, and she pays in £500 in the first month, and then the amount she pays in increases by £20 each subsequent month. So after how many months have Bertie and Charlotte paid in the same amount in total? So in order to do this, we're going to have to be using our knowledge of series. And we don't have a limit here, so that means that we're going to have to use the second one, which is half n and then 2a plus m minus 1. D. And the thing that we don't have in this is the n, and the n is what we're trying to find. So firstly, we'll look at Bertie, and we'll put a b here to say we're looking at Bertie. And we're going to start off by just putting a half n. Again, we don't know what n is, that's what we're going to try and find. But we do know what a is, because that's the first amount, and he pays in £300 in the first month. So 2 times 300 is equal to 600. Now, plus, we also know what the difference is, because it says that he pays £40 each subsequent month. That's the difference. We can put 40 here, but again, we don't know what n minus 1 is. Don't know what n is, so that's what we're going to put there. But we can simplify this to say that half n, then that we can just say that's 40n minus 40, so 600 minus 40 is equal to 560. And then that's going to be plus 40n. And we can simplify that one final time, and that's going to mean that we get 280n plus 20n squared. So now we've got that, we can do exactly the same process for Charlotte. And I'll put a C there to show we're working with Charlotte. And then this time, 
it's going to be half n again we don't know that and then we do know the first amount first amount she paid a is going to be 500 2a is going to be a thousand then we do know d because she pays 20 pounds each subsequent month so that's going to be 20 there Again, we don't know n, so we'll put that there. So following the same pattern as the first one, we can simplify this to get half n on the outside. And then we've got 1,000 minus 20, that's 980, plus 20n. And then that can finally be simplified to 490n plus 10 and squared. So now we've got that, we've got to look at the question. It says that after how many months have Bertie and Charlotte paid in the same amount in total? So that means that we have to make this equal to that. So therefore, 280n plus 20n squared is equal to 490n plus 10 n squared. Simplify this around, that means that we're going to get 10 n squared and then do the 490 minus the two, uh, um, 280 sorry, minus the 490 and that means that we're going to get minus 210 n that's equal to zero. We've got it all on one side, which means that we can solve to say that n is either zero or n is 21. So that means that it's going to be 21. And we'll put the months here because that's what the question's asking for. But after 21 months, Bertie and Charlotte have paid in the same amount in total. So that is all of arithmetic sequences. Next video, we're going to look at geometric sequences. But for now, see you soon. Bye.